literally every single video I have a new intro. But anyways, I never thought I would do this video, but here we are. Um, I don't want to do this video, but it's really highly requested. Okay. So I put on my Instagram story yesterday and I was like, oh, send in your assumptions about me. I didn't think everybody had these assumptions about me, so I'm pretty taken aback and kind of like, you thought I did that? You thought I would do that? You you think that low of me? Like, a lot of them are like, what the? F like, what's going on? Let's just say, you all must think I am a f I don't want to do that. I'm cool, I'm calm, I'm collective. I'm going to start off quite... Easy. Easy, breezy, cool, and cheesy. Okay, 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 okay. This bodysuit is from Kiss My Lips. It's not up yet. It is double layered. It, it couldn't be more comfortable, more flattering, more nice, even if it tried. It'll be up this week. <sighs> I don't want to answer the questions. They're really personal. Oh my god, I find it, I find it really hard to breathe. Do you manic? Never felt that. <laughs> it's just me, it's really hot in here. One of the first assumptions that I got that did kind of surprise me is that I got lip filler. No, I haven't got lip filler. I'm gonna debunk that right away. I'm all natural. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes if you get lip filler, apparently, allegedly, 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 it can go like lumpy and bumpy after like a few years. So like, I just I just don't want that kind of energy. As of right now, I am completely happy with overlining my lips way too much. Okay, the second one is that I would get a boob job in the morning if I could. Absolutely no, not in the morning anyways. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of more into the kind of like more natural look, you know what I mean? Natural look, I say, as I have about 10 layers of makeup on, but anyways, uh, what can you do about it? Yeah, I'm so having a good time. If I could go to a plastic surgeon and if I was guaranteed that they would look really natural, I would do that. Or if I could get like fat transferred from somewhere else and I think my mother would probably sell me on eBay. The next one is like kind of bitchy. Like if you don't know already, the reason I have my business isn't for the money. It's actually because I was really sick. I was in school, blah, blah, blah. so basically I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with my life? I'm gonna set up my own business. I had savings. Am I making money? Yes. Am I doing it for the money? No. I'm doing it because I completely love it. Actually, fun, f oh, I don't know if I wanna share this. A fun fact, at the start of Kiss My Lips, I actually wasn't making any profit. It was completely because I loved it. I talk very fast. Next assumption is that I act different off camera. No, I absolutely don't act different off camera. When I first set up my YouTube channel, I was like, I, just need to be completely myself because I don't want to have to come on here and like you know be a certain someone to please a certain group of people I don't want everybody to like me because I don't like everyone you know what I mean you know what I mean the biggest compliment that I've gotten off of my friends is that my channel is literally just like a bigger version and a longer version of my private story which is the biggest compliment ever I actually not to toot my own horn but I agree I would say a good 90% of my channel I look like I got dragged through a hedge backwards I do act the same on and off camera next assumption is that I'm the mom of the group. I'm absolutely sometimes the mom of the group, but sometimes the baby of the group. Sometimes I'm the cool aunt of the group. It completely depends. I think all of my friends, we all take turns on being the mom of the group because we're all as crazy idiotic as each other. I, the, the next assumption is that I don't want kids. I absolutely want kids. I always wanted to have kids when I was like early 20s, but now that like my business is really taking off, now that I started YouTube, I'm a lot more busy than I used to be. So I'm kind of like, maybe I'll have kids later on in life as opposed to to, mm, in a few months time. A really weird assumption that came in and I was like, are you for real? Are you serious? Is that I'm lying about my age? No. That is the most stupid assumption that I've ever heard in my whole entire life. I am obviously six. Like, come on. I don't look seven. I don't look eight. I don't look five. I'm six. I'm 19 so shut the up. Next assumption is that I want to move out of Ireland ASAP. I mean, yeah. <coughs> Next assumption is that I don't want to live in Ireland forever. That is a fact. I would love to travel the world. I'd love to live in Dubai for a while. Maybe America. I don't know. We'll see who's president. Oh! South of France. Next assumption is that I'm bisexual. No, I'm not. Ooh, next assumption is that I'm, my body count is over eight. Ah, uh, you nutty, nutty. That's very personal. Ah, uh, no, it's not. It's not even half that. FYI. Next assumption is that I'm not as into the gym as I used to be. That is absolutely correct. But I used to be extremely diehard at the gym. I quite literally almost died for the gym. Have I put on a few pounds? Yes. Do I care? No. I still, of course, go to the gym. I'm still into keeping fit and healthy, but I'm just not as like diehard about it. Mm. Do, 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 bing, bing. Next assumption is that I have always been an extremely confident person. Have I always been? No. Absolutely well and truly, that could not be more inaccurate, 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 inaccurate. Uh. 
I actually used to have really, 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 really bad anxiety. Literally, when I was really young, I couldn't go to my friend's house. And I literally had to go to like places for my anxiety. I remember going to like, like counselors. Crazy. That's crazy. But that's crazy. I actually remember in primary school when I used to be asked questions, I would literally start crying because I'm like, I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. I genuinely hate thinking back to it because my anxiety was through the roof. I remember in primary school, if I talked, it was like a, she's talking. She has a voice. Memories. Oh, memories. And that's on anxiety. The next assumption is that I'm an insecure person anymore. I'm not an insecure person. The last, I'm gonna say two years, I haven't really been an insecure person. But before then, oh my god, when I was sick, oh my god, I just, I remember literally crying to my mom and be like, I hate myself, like I literally just hated myself, like I was, I don't even want to talk about that right now because I just hate talking about it. Next assumption is that I don't care about what people think, I don't care what people think now, however obviously I did before. I am shameless, I just don't think about what other people think of me. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Damn! This question is quite personal. Have you ever had a special brownie before? Cut the cameras. I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know. I just don't know. No, I don't, I've never done that before. Next assumption is that I'm a relationship kind of gal. Yes, I really don't like being single. I love being in a relationship. I love being in a relationship. I just love cuddling up to someone. I think if I was ever single, the thing that I would miss most about being in a relationship is cuddles. You know what I mean? It's like having another best friend. I just think it's so boring being single. Ugh. Next assumption that I prefer going out than staying in. It completely depends what mood I'm in. Sometimes I'll be like, I'll be like the parish animal of the group and I'll be like, let's go out, let's get really, 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 really drunk. Da -da 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 -da. The other times they're like, let's go out, let's get really, really, really drunk. And I'm like, oh, I love staying. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, next assumption is that I dropped out of school. Yeah, I dropped out of school when I was probably 16. Next assumption is that my favorite color is pink. It's actually not. My favorite color is actually, believe it or not, red. Uh, next assumption is that it takes me ages to do my makeup. No, it takes me two seconds. I throw it on. It probably takes me 10 minutes. You know what I mean? So the next assumption, I wasn't the happiest camper. Then when this assumption came in, because I was a bit like, the assumption is, have myself and himself broke up. No, myself and himself haven't broken up. We are engaged with three kids on the way. Next assumption is probably the most true thing that I've ever read. Girl, you know me to a T. Is that I'm extremely hard on myself. Yes, as much as I hate to admit it, I am extremely hard on myself. Mm -hmm. Let's just not get into it. Oh, the camera's gonna die. My viewpoint is still broken, so if I'm looking up like, and I'm not giving you the dirty eye look, my camera is just still broken, so my viewfinder is literally hanging off right now. So I'm just like literally just looking at it hanging as we speak. Next assumption is that I'm a parity animal. When I'm out, yes, I am a small bit of a parity animal. Next assumption is that I have 10K in savings. Bitch, where? So next assumption is that I am a neat person. That couldn't be more wrong, even if I tried. Let's just say, I'm a Taurus. We're not meant to be neat, it's fine. The only neat and organized place that I, that I have is my office. I am so happy that a few people thought they lived fillers. Like, Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Next assumption is that I'm a sensitive person. I'm absolutely not a sensitive person. However, I am an extremely caring person. And that brings me on to the next assumption, asking would I change anything about myself? Yes, I would actually change about how caring I am. I would make myself less caring. Like if I saw someone crying on the street, I'd be like, like I, that would be on my mind all day. Or if one of my friends was like, oh, I'm having a, a really shitty day. Like, I am so beyond caring and protective because I know how it feels to be so down and out that I just don't want anyone feeling that way. Like, I would rather someone call me ugly than call one of my friends those words. I, don't, I know it's like water off a duck's back with me, but I just don't want them hearing that kind of stuff. The next assumption, mom, dad, cut the cameras. Have I ever gotten blackout drunk before? Uh, no. Never, ever. The next assumption is, am I judgmental? I'm the least judgmental person ever. I couldn't be less judgmental, even if I tried. Hugo, baby, Hugo! Ah, oh, hear him, don't die. You can run, but you can hide. This is my step doggy, Hugo. The next assumption about me is that Hugo's love of my life, and honestly, yeah, he is. Say hi to the camera. The last assumption is that I'm good at hiding my emotions. 
I am extremely, extremely bad at hiding my emotions. I, for some reason, just cannot contain my emotions. Like, I don't know how people will be pissed off if someone are not active. <gasps> oh, my heart! My surname! So, the last and final assumption is that I want to get married young. Yes, I do want to get married young. Sam, I'm 19. I want to get married by the time I'm 19 and a half. So, pressure's on. Yes. yes. I don't know what I was going to say again. That's better. That's better. Five, six, seven, eight. Keep your eyes to yourself. No, sir. Wrong, bitch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. This bodysuit will be on KML in the next week or so. Sit in Santa's lap. What do you want for Christmas? I want a doll and a drum and a cook off the bomb. Bye, bitches. Shake that ass. Shake that ass. Shake. Hugo, your Smells like prawn cocktail Pringles. Oh, sir. Wrong, bit. You hurt someone I love, I'll break your face. Oh, yeah, it's wicked. <laughs> Let me just take out my baby violin and just play it for you. Damn. We don't know what's wrong with her life. Hoo-hoo. Yeah. So, uh, no. <laughs> for sure, for sure. For sure. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I would die. I'm actually finding it really hard to breathe. Oh, a little bit. Um, wait, where was I again? Okay, fine, whatever, okay.